game. All right, let's pause this and we'll take this challenge. Sue Kara, 1447. Good luck. We are black. E4, we'll play E5. Knight F3, play Knight C6. And we have a Ponziani, a Ponziani opening. All right, you have not seen the refutation, or maybe you have. We'll see what he plays. D3 or D4, both moves here. D4 much more common, and we'll go into this line. Knight takes E4. See what you've got. Sukara playing D5, and this is the Vukovic Gambit. Not playing Knight E7 or Knight B8. All right, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, this is the this is called the Vukovic Gambit. It's probably the best way of countering the Ponziani, in my opinion. Foxy Fury. Fo Fox's, Fox's Fury. What's up, man? How are you doing? Uh, yeah, Vukovic Gambit sacrificing a piece, but my opponent does not take it. We'll take this bishop. Bishop takes e3. And uh, let's see. Now my knight is attacked, so I think I'll move it to e7. And we'll see where my opponent plays next. He does have this pawn he can take on e5. There are some other moves available as well. But uh, we'll see what he goes for. Okay, he does take the pawn on e5, and I think that is a good move. Wouldn't want to play d6 here because queen a4 check. That's a fork on the uh, the king and the knight. Just learning, man. Trying to learn a lot more openings. So far, my favorite is the Sicilian. Sicilian, definitely a very good option. I think we're just going to castle here so that we can play d6 maybe later. Get out of this queen a4 tactic. We'll see what my opponent does next. This king's a little exposed. Maybe looking to get castled. Bishop d3, very expected. Yeah, you know, developing this bishop, hitting the knight, preparing to get castled, aiming the bishop at the queen, at the king side. But here, I think I've got this move. Knight takes d5. And hanging this knight, but counterattacking a pawn. So I would get two pawns for the piece. This pawn on d5 and this pawn on e3. All right, so I'm not actually going for this pawn. That was not the idea. I'm going to play this queen h4 move instead. Forking the king and the bishop now. That's going to, how I'm going to regain my piece. I'll be up a pawn. A white's king will be very exposed. Thanks for the arrows. Helps a lot. No problem, man. It's uh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah, so we're regaining this piece here. Now we're forking this knight, this pawn, and this rook. I actually just had this exact position in a game yesterday. So... <laughs> um, so I'm actually very familiar with this position. This is still opening prep for me. Um, and yeah, knight f3, saving both the knight and the rook. But now there's this knight takes e3 move, threatening the queen and also threatening knight c2, which would be double check and forking the king and the rook. Hey, arc g3, it's a pleasant surprise. It's me. That is me. What's up, dude? <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, I, uh, I'm... I'm that's streaming for the St. Louis Chess Club now. Does that does this mean that St. Louis Chess Club uh, will allow anyone to stream on their channel? I think maybe that's what that maybe what that's what this means. I don't think I'm too too good of a streamer, content creator, or chess player, but maybe maybe. Jonathan sees potential in me. So we could take this queen, of course, or we could go for this knight c2 double check. I think knight bd2 counterattacking the queen would have been a much better try, but we'll just take this queen for now. Take this queen, and it's also discovered check. So yeah, very tricky position for white. Very tricky. Take the queen, yep, and now we'll take this knight. We'll take this knight. And now what to do? What to do? Let's let's play d6. Look to get another piece into the mix. 
Bishop f5 coming soon. And then the king can't return to the back rank because the h1 rook hangs. Yep, 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 yep. All right, let's see. Okay, we'll continue with this bishop f5 check. Bishop f5. All right. And king to b3. What to continue with now? Queen d5, there's c4, queen d3 check. If not, then... Hmm. All right, we'll play this move. Not exactly... Yeah, just saving the queen, looking for some you know, queen c2 or queen b5 moves. Obviously not right now, the, the knight guards both of those squares, but maybe look for some a5, a4 push, get this rook into the game and the king will be checkmated soon. This bishop doesn't hang because queen e6 is a fork. Mean machine Rex. What's up, dude? How are you doing? Bishop hanging, yeah, bishop hanging. That would be a fork. Queen e6 is, is a fork. Mean Machine Rex. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I I uh I recall you you were actually following you were following me in uh in December or something. In December. Yeah, I, I don't know how you got unfollowed. I don't know how you got unfollowed. And also um uh yeah, I do have a personal Twitch channel. So let me just I'll type that in right now. There we go. So if you enjoy the stream today, if you enjoy this segment, go check it out. Drop a follow. I do a lot of things there. Try to keep my stuff entertaining. Give you a follow there as well. Thank you, man. My opponent in a bit of a think here. Okay, so my opponent plays c4. I think we'll just continue with this plan of a5. Queen e6, no longer an option, but there's queen d3 now. Uh, the pawn has moved off of c3. And is it, where's the checkmate here? Where is it? Start with queen. I, uh, hmm. Start with a4. A4 check, and now we'll go queen takes b2, and that's checkmate. Push the pawn, yes. All right. Good game, Sukara. Good game, Sukara.